Hey guys, back here again with another video. This one is going to be my first ever movie review video, being for the 2019 take on Stephen King's Pet Cemetery. Okay, before I dive in, be sure to leave your thoughts or comments down below. Also, if you haven't already, uh, subscribe. I'll be uploading more uh, reviews, comparisons, and rankings, movie rankings. Uh, other than that, yeah, let's just get to it. So Pet Cemetery follows the Creed family as they move into a new home for a fresh start. They want to like get away from the life they had before and just basically they want to start over. But beyond, or should I say behind, their new home lies the Pet Cemetery. Now, of course, they go on to discover that it's all about as well, you know, as gain knowledge and insight about it from their elderly neighbor, Judd, played by the great John Lithgow. Of course, they later on discover something darker beyond the Pet Cemetery. Um, just beyond it lies the Indian Burial Ground. Of course, they discover its true meaning when the Creed's cat is found dead by the road, got hit by a semi, um, and Judd offers to take Lewis to the Pet Cemetery to bury their cat. Um, and of course, they, he doesn't take him to the uh, regular pet cemetery. Instead, Judd takes him to the Indian burial ground where their cat comes back to life, but not all is the same. Now, giving you some background on the plot, I just want to point out, um, although I wasn't, it wasn't one of the most popular flicks, I did enjoy the original pet cemetery a lot. From it being the suspense, uh, from, it, from it being the emotion, the creepiness, the creepy Zelda, or the psycho infant Gage, I had a lot of memorable moments, given that I went into this movie with low expectations. Given why I did, had to be what was revealed in the second trailer. Now I can understand that remakes tend to change a lot from the original, but I wasn't big on the character switch that was shown in the trailer, which gave me very low expectations. As well, it felt like they were trying to drift away from the original story, however, Going into it and coming out of this film, my thoughts on it really changed. So what I'm trying to say is I really, I really enjoy this movie and the take on it. Now, did I like it more than the original? No. The original for me will always be the scariest, but it doesn't mean this movie wasn't scary at all. It kind of was. It had some pretty scare factors to it. Starting with the upsides, being the characters. I thought the character development was really good. Uh, I thought Jason Clark was a fantastic Lewis Creed. John Lithgow, of course, fantastic actor. He was a great Judd. Maybe better than the original Judd. I'm not sure about, uh, I'm not sure on that part yet. Uh, but the actress who portrayed Rachel was outstanding and had a ton more development. I thought she had a ton more development than in the original. And flat out thought the actress who took on the role of Ellie was fantastic. Way better than the original Amy. Way better than the original Ellie. Uh, as I thought she was one of the most annoying characters in the original. I mean, she was so cringy. It was just, it kind of ruined the original for me, almost ruined the original for me, but I still really enjoy it. Um, other than that, you know, they did a really good job. She did a really good job playing, you know, the dead character as well. Honestly, for me, Lewis, um, her and Zelda, yeah, Zelda's in this as well, uh, were insanely, insanely creepy in this movie. Insanely creepy. Now, I won't go so much onto this one to, you know, to avoid spoilers, but I did enjoy the effects, including the gruesome bloody violence that was uh, portrayed in this movie. Uh, that was, um, those were really good. Uh, I feel like they. it's been a while since we've seen a horror movie with that much brutality uh, that really had held they really held nothing back on this one really held nothing back i mean the original pet cemetery was pretty violent as well but i did think that this one was more gruesome more bloodier over the top definitely um had more uh, more to it now for me the downsides would probably be the excessive use of jump scares i felt some of them were necessary but some of course felt really forced I'm not sure if they're aiming to have pleased the audience with those or not. I mean, I'm sure they were, but it was a little too much. It kind of got annoying by the end, but I really like, I really didn't let that affect the film for me. I didn't let it hold me back from enjoying the film. Also, I forgot to mention uh, another downside would be the ending. Now, I won't give a whole lot away. I won't reveal anything, 
but the ending for me felt a little rushed, just a little rushed. Uh, it was done very differently other than the original, um, though I'll admit, I wasn't big on the original ending either. However, I want to see this movie again to give my final thought on it. But as of right now, I'm giving this, if I'm going to grade it, I would give it an A-. Literally, I'd give it an A-. Like, I, I enjoyed it. Uh, reason being mainly due to the performances, which I thought were outstanding, and the effects, were, which I thought were very good. Very good effects, very good uh, blood, gore, all that. Very good. Anyways, if you haven't seen it and are curious just by watching this video, I'd recommend it. Go check it out at your local theater and let me know what you think. But anyways, that's all for me. So go ahead and smash that subscribe button for more videos, like and comment, leave your thoughts on it, let me know what you think about the film, did you like it or did you not like it, what could have been done differently, Did you? how would you compare it to the original, did you like it more than the original, did you, li did you like um, the original more than the remake. Uh, but that's it guys, so uh, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you on the next one.